What's up, my cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do you guys Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. And today, you guys, I am going to be making some of this um, Franken paper. This is one of my uh, guilty pleasures. I like to have a lot of this on hand. I like to make a lot of this stuff. Why? I don't know. It's just fun. Fun to make. Fun to put all the papers together. You get rid of scraps. Not that many because I use big pieces. But, of course, you can use smaller pieces. I enjoy using straight edge cut pieces. But, of course, you can use a bunch of little tiny scraps if you want to. This is just the way I like to make them. So, usually, I make them 8 by 10. So I'll probably cut down some of this paper I have in front of me, actually. Um, I'm going to just be using some, I found this at the thrift shop. It's some sort of like recycled paper. That's all I can say about it. There was no label on it. There was a, I'm, I cut my pages down to 8 by 10 um, I make uh, a lot. Of, I make a lot of my journals, and all of my pages are eight by ten. So that's why I'm doing that. So let me do the rest. Of these. I have a couple here to cut down. Of course, you can use whatever size pages you normally use. It's good to have this on hand before you start actually making your journals. So this needs to be at eight. Should be good enough for me. And hopefully my sewing machine cooperates with me. So this paper is just like a tiny bit thicker than printer paper. Just a tiny bit, not exactly cardstock. But it is thicker than printer paper. This needs to be by 10. Okay, fun, fun, that's done. Okay, so I always cut everything I make down to 8 by 10. It's just how my um, journals work. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Okay, so I have my bag of stuff here I'm going to use. I have a bag of book scraps. I have a bag of lined paper scraps. Um, what is this? Oh, this is another book, another bag of book scraps then? Okay. <laughs> And then I have a bag of really pretty um, scrap of paper. So I'm just going to mix these up here on this page. Oh, I have two of these. I don't know. Let me put this one. Yeah, I'm going to grab onto these because I just cut these out the other day. Put them in the other bag. I can't remember why I have this bag. Oh, I have two of these bags. To put one is torn. I don't know. Okay, so I just like to take one of each and then stick it down. And normally what I would do is I would spend a lot of time just kind of like gluing pages down. And then eventually I'd get to sewing. I'd spend a day or so sewing. Hi, Jen. How are you? How are you? So now I'm going to take a piece of lined paper. And I just like to use my glue stick. And... Uh, Try not to think about this too much. A lot of projects you have to think a lot about. This is one where you can just kind of glue stuff down. And now I kind of go over to the scrapbook bag. And I'll grab a piece here. Don't really have a plan. I'm just going to put this right here. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Jen. Let's see, I have some music sheets that I cut up the other day to make pockets. Happy bridal day. I don't know if that has to do with bridal. But um, let's put that over here. Why not? So go right here. So then over here, this could be scrapbook paper. I, li I just like try and go around book paper, line paper, scrap paper, book paper, line paper, scrap paper. 
No, that's pretty much how I do it. Oh, is this going good? Oh, 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 I ordered, I'm so like nervous, but I ordered the new Scan and Cut. <laughs> I have one of my Scan and Cuts being serviced, my other Scan and Cut, I don't know what's wrong with it. It costs too much to figure out, so I gave him the easier job. <laughs> And so now my new scanning cut will be here on Friday. That other scanning cut, I, I, it's just, it served me very, very good. Oh, this, okay, now I know what I did. Okay, I made a mistake. So this is actually the bag of papers I have also ripped up in here. Okay. Okay, I was trying to figure out what was the difference between the two bags. <laughs> I had confused myself. Okay. So I'm pretty excited to um, get my new skin and cut. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be exciting. I need something on here. <clears throat> so then I guess I do need this one. That's trouble. Just a lined paper. This. Oh, these are to be ripped. These are a little different. Sorry. Brain fart. Oh, oh, oh. Here's this. I'll put this down here. Let's see. I finally said my envelope is cute. Oh, how cool. Yes, it was fun, except for the expense. <laughs> the expense of the $400 scan and cut is not fun, but um, I make it kind of like a business. So it's an investment. Uh, so, I mean, I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to. I could not afford not to. Scissors, scissors, scissors. So I'm definitely going to do a live video when I get it. Ah, uh, that'll be exciting. I need to order more cardstock. I need to order more ink. What else do I need to order? I might try and keep re-gluing this one's surface. Um, that's a new thing for me. Let's see, I need some book paper or something over here. Or, okay. this right here, that'd be cool. Oh, the paper's crooked. Okay, cool. At least now I know I can work with that. I can work with it. I'll just sneak it in under here. You won't be able to tell it's crooked. Ha ha. I'm okay right there. Uh, yeah, because you could sell some of your die cuts, don't you? Yes, I can cut my die cuts. Um, I need to make more die cut sets. So all that needs to happen. <laughs> all that needs to happen next year. I need to do a lot of die cuts. That's okay. That's, that's the job I asked for. <laughs> Let's see here. Kayleen, hi Kayleen. Yes, I finally, I wore, I, I wore both of them down. One of them is in the shop getting repaired. I'll see how much that's going to cost. And then my other scan and cut, I just, my other scan and cut, I feel like it's pretty much dead. It has given me, it has given me, how long did I have that machine? Like five, four or five years. I mean, it paid for itself 10 times over. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm 
I'm like gonna have to learn stuff again, but fine. Fine. Hopefully I don't regret it. Cause every time they release a new machine of something that you already like, you're not gonna like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna probably like it that much. So hopefully I'm happy with my decision here. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Got paper, so much paper. Put this over here. Really cool. Early Christmas presents to yourself, right? Yeah, that's true. Let me get it before the holiday rush, and I don't, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know if there's anybody in town that sells it. But I had to order it on Amazon, and it'll be here on Friday. And I gotta get to work on Friday. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I would have been working this whole weekend. And I should have really ordered it earlier, but I was just, like, still contemplating whether I should buy. <laughs> whether I should have bought it or not. I still wasn't sure this weekend. But today I was like, you know what? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, Daisy? You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> so I went ahead and I did it, y'all. I freaking did it. My early present is my new iPad that comes tomorrow. How cool. I love my iPad. I do love it. It serves as, honestly, it's my television. I have a television in my room, but when I'm on my computer side of my desk, <clears throat> I can't see it very well. So, normally, my iPad is my, my TV next to my computer. I love it. Oops. Oh, oh. This might be it. Oh, it's a little bit too small. I could do something about that. Just put the glue. I cleaned out my sewing machine, and for some reason, it was just not working with me. So I let it rest the whole day. <laughs> and now I'm going to try it tonight here. And hopefully, my sewing machine cooperates. If not, um, I guess I'll just be gluing paper. <laughs> Let's see. Sometimes sewing machines just need a day to think about what they've done, you know? Okay, so over here. Over here. Okay, so we need a strip. I need a strip. Strip, 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 strip. Here's some strips. Ah, uh, let's use this one right here. Okay, and that'll close that off. Right there. And then my Sizzix. My Sizzix, the arm is broken. I don't know how that happened. I'm missing a screw. I was telling my husband, I'm like, why is everything deciding to, like, break down on me, like, this week? Like, everything is just like, I'm not going to work anymore. I'm done working. <laughs> it's just silly. It's just so silly. And it's unnecessary. <laughs> Technology, right? The one I have now is acting up. Oh, no. I've had mine for a while now, actually. Sometimes it's just time to upgrade. Okay, so here we go. Here's my Franken page. Normally I'd let it dry, but you know what? It's fine. For you guys, you know what? For y'all, it's okay. Okay, so let me get my sewing machine. Oh, look. Jen, here's the thing I did. Look, I was telling my husband, I'm like, I did a thing. See, I added my scissors. The hook I bought, and so now when I whenever I need to cut a thread, I just grab it and I can just put it right back. 
so I'm loving that. Chris, hi Chris. I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, actually I'm gonna try a Franken stitch. Well, let me try a zigzag and see how this sewing machine, see if it's gonna work with me or not, because it might not. <laughs> It might choose not to work with me. Let's see, I'm just gonna do a zigzag. Stitch could be a little bit longer. Looks like I need to re-thread it. My goodness, it started off well and then it just went, no. Nope. <laughs> ah, okay, so this is what I've been running through, through this issue. I don't know why my sewing machine just doesn't want to play. It just really doesn't want to play with me. <sighs> so let's see here. Make sure my bobbin is in the right position. Yep, the hole is to the to the left. Okay, just gonna, gonna think happy thoughts now. <laughs> happy, happy thoughts. Ooh, why is it doing that with yo? Okay, okay. No, it is not getting any better. What is happening? Yeah, so this is a little crazy. Uh, pretty new subscriber here. Can you say what the Franken pages will be used on um, Puppy Hair Project for the junk journal? I'm gonna, I always use these um, for pages in my junk journals. Let me get what is up with the sewing machine. Uh, here it is. Here's a journal I made. And so this was already like a patchwork kind of theme, you know, because of the cover that I made for it. And then, so this is how I used the page. I used it in the first uh, signature right there. And then also in the last signature over here. Just because, like I said, it was already like a patchwork theme. And so I thought this was kind of like a fitting, fitting addition to it, you know. Just fun, just to add to a journal page. To a journal, I should say, as a page. What, what happened here? Did I sew this on here? How? What is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> how did that happen? I don't know. Anyways, that's how I use them. Um, but right now, so I figure out what is wrong with my sewing machine. I might just be stuck just <laughs> gluing paper. What happened? Earlier I was sewing and it was just fine. And then I switch, um, it's like I switch threads and it like doesn't want to like work or something. I don't even know what to say. I'm not like an expert. All I can do is like keep re-threading it. The tension is fine. Is it the tension? Because the tension, I bet the back is fine. See, the back is just fine. So what, what, what is happening? Hang on one second now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if this sewing machine is going to work with me today. Doesn't seem like it is the stitch. It looks like Greek letters, y'all. I'm freaking out for you. Did somebody mess with your electronic? <laughs> I love quilts and it gives me that vibe. Yeah, I made that cover. It's very quilt inspired. Look at this. What is going on, y'all? The tension is fine. It's not like it's like puckering my threads or anything. Try a looser tension, I guess. 
I even considered checking the manual, and that's crazy talk. <laughs> I almost considered the manual. Like, that was dangerous. Okay, let's try this one more time, and then I'm done. Because this machine has taken way too much of my life. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not working. It's just not, look, look, look at what is happening. The back's fine. Back, perfectly fine. So, <laughs> so what do I do? I don't know. No way, the manual, not the manual. I know, it's just like, what am I even thinking? What am I even thinking? Okay. Guess we're just gluing tonight. That's okay. I gotta figure it out. I'm telling you, earlier it was just fine, and now it's just like, nope, not today. You know what? I'm fine giving things like that a break. <laughs> if anybody, if you have any tips, if you have any tips, I will consider them all. <laughs> I will take any advice. Uh, Change the bobbin. I once used an off-brand. No, I have not bought any new bobbins. So those are, they're all the same bobbin. Ugh, it's just like, what happened? I don't know. I really don't know. But I've been using the same bobbin this whole time. Like, not the same one, but I bought them all the same kind, all at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say, my gosh. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, are you sure you have the right selected? <laughs> I picked the one that doesn't make sense. Sometimes when the thread doesn't wind off the spool correctly, this can happen. I can't explain why, but it's happened to me. Hmm. I think I always wind the bobbin up wrong, to be honest with you. My mom taught me how to do it, and it doesn't, that's not how it says it on the manual. <laughs> So I think I might always do that. <laughs> I think I might be chronically doing that. But I need to cut up more lined papers. It's warm, y'all. Hang on, let me get the fan. The thing's got me flustered. Not the bobbin spool on the tip. You mean the big top? Oh, on top. Okay. Okay. Because, oh, so you mean the spool. Um, I did try to re-thread it. I mean, I could have taken the bobbin off. I could, I could try to take the thread off. Hang on. Hang on. Let me glue this down here. A sewing machine hates me. Okay. Okay, let me see. Taking it off. I don't, there's no directions here saying that this big spool has to go one way or another. It, just, it doesn't say that. I have to read the manual, y'all. This is nuts. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. Big bag. Let's see. <laughs> cross your fingers. Cross the fingers. Nope. 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 Still awful. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna flip the spool the other way. And um, 
maybe this is the I don't know. I don't know. Patricia. <clears throat> he fell asleep. No, girl, no. <laughs> that heat, that heat puts, makes you want to take a nap, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, my God, I feel so sorry for everybody in Arizona. I really do. I feel for you. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my sewing machine, though. It is just not being very nice right now. I'm having an emergency. Is that nope. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? This this sewing machine is dead to me right now. Okay, it's just dead. I don't know what to do. It looks, it does not look good. I don't think that looks good. That's not my kind of look. <laughs> I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I cannot stand my sewing machine right now. It betrayed me. My sewing machine betrayed me today and the last time I was on here. Oh, it's just sad. It's just sad. Well, I'm just gonna glue. <laughs> Y'all, what is wrong with my sewing machine? I'm gonna have to, um, maybe I'll have to undo the needle and redo the needle. I already opened it, I already cleaned it out, so I just, I really am at a loss right now for what to do. I mean, I'm not like a technician or anything, so that's all I know what to do. <laughs> that's all I really know what to do. So I'm just like, oh, that's not right. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. You know what? I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this somewhere. It's pretty. I guess it's meant for right here. Okay. How long have you had her? I've had this sewing machine now for, what, like? Three years, three years, I'm gonna say three years, two, three years. I got it maintenance earlier this year. So whatever's wrong with it, I think I did. <laughs> it's probably my fault. Whatever's wrong with it. Okay. So if it doesn't want to work in a couple of days, <laughs> I might start freaking out, maybe, possibly, probably. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's some line paper. Should have already been cut smaller. Oh, okay. So it's all crooked, but I'm going to put it up here, so that's okay. See, that's why I was telling my husband, like, everything is deciding to break down this week. Like, why? <laughs> even my freaking light bulb. I just replaced it, but, like, even my light bulb went out <laughs> this weekend. It's just like, what is happening? <laughs> uh, Should have been a sign. Should have been a sign. <clears throat> um. Yeah, it, look at it sewing. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not so. I did not pick the Greek letter, like, design here. But look, on the back, it's fine. Letitia, hi, Letitia. I'm making Franken pages, girl. So I'm just, like, putting a bunch of stuff together <laughs> on a page. But, like, look at the stitching. I, but the back is fine. So riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that. What is happening to my stuff? <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm like crying on the inside, y'all, as usual. <laughs> oh, that machine. All these machines, it says I'm done over it. I'm just so over all of it. Let's go here. Let's go right here. Did you check the tension? I've been moving the tension. You know, I need to look at my manual because maybe 
it like says, oh, only change attention when it's off or something. I don't know. I didn't read the manual at all. I'm not a scientist, okay? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, okay? I didn't go to school for this, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll check the manual now, I guess. <laughs> I like Franken paper. Haven't done sewing. I like to sew on my Franken paper. So some people like to make Franken paper with like little scraps and snips, you know. But I just like to use like straight, straight pieces of paper is my choice. Okay. We got that. Now we're over here. And some more book paper. Oh, maybe like this would be good. Yeah, that would be cute right here across there. Mine stays around three. Yeah, I uh, I actually keep mine at 3.5 all the time. And I don't really move it until it stops working. <laughs> like right now. Um, I had to change it earlier when I was doing my trim because at 3.5, it was like puckering my fabric, so I moved it over. I kept testing, and I moved it over to zero. Um, is that where I messed it up? I don't know. I don't quite know. But now I'm all messed up. This is this. This right here. Hi, Beverly. I call the manual the destructions. <laughs> That's funny. Doomsday. I call it Doomsday Manual. <laughs> I'm the worst. I really hate reading manuals, and I really only read the manual if there's like no YouTube video about my problem. <laughs> then I'll be like, all right, last resort, where's the manual? <laughs> where would you put it? I'm gonna use little pieces. This is I don't normally use such little pieces of paper, but right now. And you know what's funny is earlier I tested it on a piece of paper on a piece of fabric. To see if it would just sew a straight line, and it did. So I don't understand. I don't know what just happened. It was all a blur. I don't know. Scrap the paper. I do have my little favorite pieces of scrap, though. Maybe that's silly, but I do. I have little, my little favorite pieces. Oh, this could go down here. This would look beautiful down here. Right here. Nobody called me. Nobody called Beverly. Everybody's fired. Everybody. Everybody leave the chat right now. <laughs> Here. No, I want that to be, I want this to be one piece. I don't know, let's see if we can make that happen. Now, is this the most <laughs> accurate? Oh man, this paper was perfect for right here, hang on. Yeah. You know what I've been wanting to do this on some projects? You see how when you glue it down and then you kind of rip it off, it almost leaves like this ghost impression. I want to do that, uh, but like for, like on purpose. <laughs> Not by mistake. I want to do that on purpose. Let's see. So this would be much better. Yes, it fits. It belongs right there. Yep. So now... Find a strip for right here. Uh, music sheet. Yes, music sheet. Perfect. 
perfect. We'll have to cut it. Do some surgery. <laughs> oh man. So everything is just like oh oh Patricia, I bought a new scanning cut. I finally broke down and I bought a brand new scanning cut. I had to go with the new model. $50 more, but I guess. So that'll be here on Friday. Whatever time it comes in, I'll make sure and I'll do a live um, unboxing because I'm excited about it. And um, I'm still basically going to use the most basic, <laughs> the most basic thing that it does. Here's the Strangler page. Like I said, I'll just feel like one day just sitting down here and just gluing all this down. Next day I'll feel like sewing, so I'll do that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm excited. I'm excited. But I'm a little bit scared just because, like I said, um, you know, you're so used to one machine. And then when they upgrade, when I, sometimes whenever they upgrade something, like there's a new version of it, they make it like, mess, they add so much stuff to it that like you're not used to it. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> so that's not the only thing I'm worried about. But I, I watched a video on how to do what I normally do and it looks simple enough. It like auto... Normally, I you set the needle depth, depth, depth. <laughs> but supposedly, <clears throat> this scanning cut like it auto sets, it auto picks that. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel about the machine. I might get it. Okay, so this paper is going on here somewhere. I have the Cricut and they are always upgrading their stuff. Yeah, every two months the Cricut upgrades, I swear. They add like 10% more. <laughs> they add 10% more features and, up <laughs> and put it on to sale. <laughs> I know the Cricut and that's what they do. <laughs> and they love it. And I loved the Cricut for a while. I really did. I did, did love the Cricut. Here, back in my um, scrapbook card making days, I used to love that. Had a lot of sentiments, so it's perfect for um, card making. So many sentiments, I used to love it. Okay, now we need. I feel like I chopped up all my scrapbook paper in two tiny pieces. I feel like I need a bigger piece of scrapbook paper than what I gave myself to work with. Oh well, I guess I have other papers to chop up. Let's see. Okay, so here's some bigger pieces, somewhat bigger pieces. Line up there. I'm excited. There, and then, and then, no, no, see, yeah, it's too much scrap of paper off the top. Lots of pink, purple, and blue, yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much the, the color scheme on this um, paper pad that I bought. Got it at Michael. And Michael's had the crick the, the scanning cup, but they only had it online. Like why? Why? Why why would you only have it online? What's up with that? I think I want to put this right here. Like fits perfectly. Let's do that. 
So you can have a lot of fun with these Franken pages and kind of overlap and everything. But I kind of like the simplicity of just like big blocks of scrap for this anyways. That's just my taste. Let's see what I have. What do I, have? I need some sort of like text. Something interesting or these two. I guess this one. Mm. Mm. Let's see, it's a crooked right there though, but we can put something right here. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with that. Letitia, I hardly use my Cricut. My scissors get way more use. Oh. They do have some fun shapes. They really do. Um. Maybe I'll do this instead. That'd be cool. Let's do it. Vanessa, hi Vanessa. Let's go on here. And I gotta put something in here. What? I don't know yet. I don't know. Oh, see, this is. You know, I gotta go through this whole mess here. Why is it Christmas paper in here? What? What is happening? Ah, maybe we can do a couple strips. This could go right here. Oh, the glue is already kind of dry. <laughs> I have the sand going on. It's just a little glue stick. Okay, so that goes there. This goes over here. Is this long enough? Ah! It's literally just a tiny bit too short. But that should be okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Let's just put <laughs> we'll just patch that up with it. This random little piece of paper it doesn't make any sense, but you know what? You know what? <laughs> this whole year didn't make any sense. So how about that? How about that? None of this year made any sense. I'm gonna put this with the purple so Okay. Cover up this piece over here that didn't make any sense. There we go. Okay, so this page is done. Like I said, I'll just sit here and glue and glue. Is this page the wrong size? Wow. I grabbed one that was the wrong size. Yeah. Okay. Y'all know I always make my pages 8 by 10 for my journals. So that's the size this is right here. I'm going to add this, but I don't want to add these little holes here. Some coffee dyed paper in here. My sewing machine was giving me fits too, and I was trying to make my envelope. Yep, it'll be that. Oh, they can smell fear, I'm telling you. They can also smell excitement, so if you're too excited, <laughs> they're not gonna work. The sewing machine and the printer. 
They do the same thing. They smell fear and then they get you. <laughs> they catch you. I'm going to put this over here. It's a cool um, botanical image that I printed out a long time ago. And I know it's crooked, so I'm going to have part of it sticking outside. Okay. Right, I use my manual die cutting machine more. I do too, actually. I, cause I like to cut more than one paper at a time, you know? So it was cool that the scan and cut, cut up, you know, shapes and stuff. But I like to cut out like two, three papers at once. And that's like impossible <laughs> with the scan and cut. So I, uh, I love my manual die cutter machine. I love it. Except when it hurts my hand, then I don't like it no more. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts my fingers. Okay, so this. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what can we put here. What else? What else can go here? Oh, this could go right here. This would be perfect. Cool. And see, this will be fun because whatever batch of uh, scrap of papers I make this journal with, this ends up being in. Whatever junk journal this ends up being in, I should say. Um, I'm basically going to have all of my, a lot of my embellishments will be with this paper pad, so it'll kind of flow very well together. I'm happy about that. I think that'll be good. This paper I need to cut down. Maybe right here, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll cut it this way. Okay. Have you not watched King of the Hill lately? Maybe it's not because you haven't had it on. It's on all day, every day, baby. <laughs> no, seriously, whenever I need to. Okay, so sometimes I'm in the mood to, you know, pick my own video of what I'm going to watch next. But sometimes when I'm working or like, you know, I don't I don't want to be bothered with having to pick what's next. Bam, king of the hill. So every time I'm like, okay, it's time to concentrate. Bam, king of the hill. Like, <laughs> it is the best background music I could ever have asked for. <laughs> Seriously, I'll be like, it's time to concentrate. Bam, king of the hill. <laughs> it's just how it works. Just how it works here. Yes. I love that show. So go right here. Okay, and then over here. Something. Something, something, something. Oh, we got this purple thing over here. I'd be cool with that. I'd be cool with it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I have frozen bean burritos. Sweet. So sweet. Right there. Okay, let me cut this because it's getting a little crazy. Do you ever listen to music while you craft? No. <laughs> no. I very rarely actually, I, I don't know, I guess I've caught myself just like very rarely listening to music. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I'd rather have a show on in the background. And listen to music. I really don't listen too much to music. My husband's always playing something, but I don't. 
I don't really get the, sometimes I get the urge to listen to a song from back in the day, really randomly, but that's about it. I'm all, I'm more of a TV show in the background type person. I have like a shower, shower slash put your makeup on mixtape on my, on my YouTube channel. Well, not my YouTube, but like my YouTube list. <laughs> So very specifically, <laughs> very specific uh, playlist there. <laughs> okay, so this, yes, this would go cute here. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love listening to music and I always forget to drink water because I'm so focused. Oh my gosh. Dehydration ain't cute, girl. <laughs> Dehydration is never cute. <laughs> See right here. And I gotta put something here. I guess some page or something. And this page right here, I love it. I got a bunch of scraps of book pages the other day when I was doing the um the pockets, the book page pockets. Got some good scraps. Oh look, that's a cool scrap right there. That is a cool scrap. And here's another one for the Guinness Book of World Records of most uh, Franken pages. So, <laughs> most Franken pages made by a single person, Dave Collins. <laughs> I know, I'm always dying when I'm done. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So I got this other piece left now. Let's use that up. I'm going to have a talk with my sewing machine after this. <laughs> and hopefully I can get it back on my side again. <laughs> I'm going to bribe it. Maybe it wants a bribe. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm missing. I'm not driving it. Let's see. I can eat chocolate when I'm crap. That makes you, that would make me so thirsty, girl. I would die. <laughs> when I crap, I always have something playing in the background. I'm telling you, it's just always King of the Hill for me. <laughs> King of the Hill or Rick and Morty is what I usually like watch back to back to back. They used to have um, Daria on Hulu and now they don't. And I used to watch Daria back to back too. It's just anything that makes me feel like I'm in the 2000s again, you know, like the early 2000s. It's good. <laughs> oh, today I watched Cats. I rewatched Cats. I don't know what everybody has against Cats, but I love it. And you can unsubscribe right now if you don't like Cats. I'm just kidding. I'm going to lose so many subscribers. <laughs> I'm going to lose 90% of my subscribers, y'all. <laughs> you like cats too, Jen? Oh my god, high five. I love the new movie cats, though. I can't, I don't know about the old movie cats. It's just not colorful enough for me. <laughs> oh, but the movie cats, y'all, I love it so much. So much. It's so bad that I love it so much. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's what it is. It's such, it's so bad that I don't know why. I just love it. I just love it so much. I love musicals, water music. What's water music, Beverly? What is, what? What are y'all kids listening to? Water music. It's usually music. TV is when I really need to concentrate. <laughs> uh, no, King of the Hill is my concentration music. <laughs> Makes no sense, but it is. It's, it's, I use it to concentrate, and I love it. I always have to read whatever this says because... Because... Uh, I don't like that. I just don't like... I like it, don't make it. Let me make a new 
Oh, I have some. Uh... Oh, I didn't know I had some matte paper. That's cool. Should use some of this matte paper right here or something. Pretty cool. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Right here. Huh. I usually don't use Atlas paper. Matte paper, whatever you want to call it. This is Atlas, I guess, because it's like the whole world. Water plus music. <laughs> what is water music? I've never heard of it. Y'all are quite cooler than me. Hubby calls me a walk-in musical. Okay, so it's not exactly a quick process if you have a lot of pages and papers to pick from. <laughs> if you don't have a lot of papers and pages to pick from, you might be able to get this done quite fast. However, I have a lot of stuff to pick from. And, um... Let's see, let's see what I do. Um, you know what, I think I need some more lined paper somewhere. Oh, this could go good. Oh, yeah, this would go good right here. Let's do that. Let's just get this finished here. That looks wonderful. If you don't have any paper scraps, you can totally be like me and just cut paper up. <laughs> just cut it up. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, you know what? Yes! This looks so beautiful! I love it. And I cover some papers up sometimes. It's all good. It's all good. Right there. Yes. Yes! I love it. Okay, and then we have this right here. I wish it was a little bit wider, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to put it down. Hi, right, Chris. We're almost done here, but good night, girl. Good night, good night, good night. Okay, so this is going to go right here, and then I need a strip right here or something. A what? I don't know. It's something. I need some skinny. Um, oh, oh, oh. Um, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Poultry meats. <laughs> Poultry meats. Right there. Yeah, that looks cute. And that, y'all, is how I like to make my Franken pages. Like I said, sometimes I'm not in the mood to do a lot, but I'm in the mood to do something. So that is when I pull out my stash of Franken pages, and I either have stuff to sew or I can just glue stuff down and sew later. It just depends on my mood. And uh, like I said, I always cut these down to eight by ten, so that way they fit in my journals. You could do the same if you know what's going to fit in your journals. Um, and I'm going to come back and sew another day. I'm going to mess with my sewing machine. I'm going to tell it who's boss. I'm going to really crack the whip on it. And I'm going to tell it what to do. <laughs> I'm going to tell it to get back working. <laughs> Are you gluing it on? Yeah, I'm gluing on um, everything with the uh, glue stick. Okay, you guys, that is it for tonight. I'll be back uh, tomorrow again doing something else y'all already know. You can expect a new video from me pretty much every single day, y'all. I hope you guys have a good night, and uh, we'll play with something tomorrow. Bye, you guys. Have a good night.